morning, Ms. Russell, faculty, staff, special guests, alumni, parents, and my fellow students. You all may have noticed that the senior class officers entered to the song, The Circle of Life, from the movie, The Lion King. This song was actually a reference to my convocation speech back at the beginning of the year. During this speech, I spoke about putting your past behind you, trying something new, and reaching out to others. Since then, our class has adopted the Akuna Matata philosophy, in which we learned from our past and grew from our past mistakes. Like The Lion King, there are many memorable and beloved movies out there, such as Harry Potter, Star Wars, and of course, Pitch Perfect. <laughs> Well, Senior Day signals the beginning of the class of 2015's much anticipated sequel. Senior Day is a very important tradition at Anson Suffolk Academy. And flowers play a very pivotal role in this ceremony. Traditionally, all the seniors receive a red rose to carry, and then all the seniors will be walking through an archway full of flowers to signify their transition from an NSA student to an NSA alumni. And the prominent use of flowers in our senior day celebration is what inspired my speech this morning. In the Victorian era, people used flowers to communicate feelings. The arrangement, type, and color of flowers were all coded messages. For example, if a girl were to receive a red carnation from a boy, it indicates passionate love and sends the message, I must see you soon. However, if a girl sends him a petunia in response, she's telling him, I like you near me. Or, she could send back to the boy a bronze-colored chrysanthemum. It means, though I value your friendship, <laughs> I cannot love you. <laughs> in other words, we've been very deep in the Victorian friend zone. <laughs> Sometimes the same flower can have multiple messages and meanings. Although the red rose can symbolize love and passion, it also symbolizes congratulations on a job well done. Miss America and the winner of the Kentucky Derby both received red roses after they went for this reason. The red roses presented to the seniors from NSA symbolize congratulations on their many accomplishments. You also may have noticed that the seniors received a, red, uh, received a yellow rose as they walked down the center aisle to their seats. I'd also like to call your attention to the abundance of yellow roses in the arch and flower arrangements. The class of 2015 has adopted the yellow rose as our class flower. The yellow rose symbolizes remembrance, friendship, and optimism. In the spirit of remembering the friendships we've made here at NSA, and as part of our senior gift to the school, the class of 2015 is presenting to NSA a yellow rose bush to be planted somewhere on campus. <laughs> catch a ride across the pond and reach London. As your seeds take root and start to grow in a new place, you need to nourish and protect your plant in order for it to bloom. The roots of your plant are your family, your faith, your values, and your education here at NSA. Keeping in touch with these roots is what will help protect your plant. Sometimes weeds are going to spring up in your garden, and weeds can choke out your plant if you let them take over. Be able to recognize the weeds in your garden. 
They can be disguised as people, excessive amounts of Netflix, <laughs> or mushrooms. Ladies, he may look like a fun guy. <laughs> That is really bad news. <laughs> Be able to eradicate them before they get out of control. Plants need sunlight to bloom. Keep your plant pointed to the sunlight. Christian author Joyce Meyer once said, Consider a tree for a moment. As beautiful as trees are to look at, we don't see what goes on underground as they grow roots. Trees must develop deep roots in order to grow strong and produce their beauty. But we don't see the roots. We just see and enjoy the beauty. In much the same way, what goes on inside of us is like the roots of a tree. In the Tidewater region, we're all familiar with the Nor'easter. We've all observed the tree that stays rooted, bending and swaying with the wind. Then there's the tree whose roots become so weakened from the wind, the rain, and the erosion that it topples over. Don't let your roots give way. If you stay true to your roots, true to your values, and true to yourself, then you will be able to weather any storm that life throws at you. Thank you, and congratulations.